USD hosted a night game for the first time since 2009 on Saturday as they welcomed Northern Iowa to the Dakota Dome where they were looking to start Valley play 3-0 for the second straight year. Second quarter, Coyotes trail by one. Austin Simmons will find Kai Henry in the flat. He'll have nothing but open space in front of him for the three-yard touchdown, putting USD up 13-7. Third quarter, USD facing third and nine. Simmons rolls out and looks to throw it away, but Takari Allen comes out of nowhere to make the sideline grab. Here's a better look at the catch as he's going to get the foot down for and haul it in. And later that drive, the Coyotes finish it off as Brandon Thull just gets over the goal line for the touchdown. USD would convert the two-point try to tie the game up at 21. But you and I was looking to answer back, and on third down, Eli Dunn's going to look for Briley Moore and connect for the 21-yard TD. Panthers go up seven and never look back as they hand USD their first conference loss, 42-28. South Dakota State hosted Youngstown State for Hobo Day. On the heels of a blocked field goal, SDSU converts it into points as Taryn Christian drops the 23-yard TD pass into Kay Johnson's hands. PAT was no good. Jack's up 6-0. Late second quarter, Jack's clinging to a two-point lead with the ball at the Penguin 1. They'll give to Mikey Daniel, who lowers the shoulder and bulldozes his way in for six, helping SDSU to a 16-7 halftime lead. Third quarter, Taryn Christian's going to give the ball to C.J. Wilson on third and eight, picks up a few blocks, plants the foot, and turns on the Jets for the 48-yard TD. SDSU leads 23-7. Fourth quarter from the Penguin 49, Christian keeps it himself on the read option, gets to the outside, picks up a great block downfield, and runs it in for six. On that play, Taren became the Missouri Valley's all-time leader in total offense. Jack's up by 22, and they'd roll to the 36-7 victory over Youngstown State. USF looked to get back in the win column against St. Cloud State. Who trail 7-3 in the second on third and long. Caden Walters looks over the middle for Michael Maxwell, who hauls in the 23-yard touchdown, putting USF back on top 10-7. Ensuing St. Cloud State drive deep in Cougar territory, Dwayne Lawhorn dumps it off to tight end Anthony Carver, who walks in the seven-yard TD. Huskies add the PAT and take the four-point lead. On the heels of a USF fumble late in the half, St. Cloud makes them pay as Lawhorn drops back and hits Sam Hartman on the post route for the 23-yard strike. Huskies lead 21-10 at the break. But after the Cougar defense force a Husky three and out to begin the third, USF gains the early momentum as Gabe Watson gets the rock, burst through a hole in the line, and see you later, 67 yards untouched on the TD. Coup trail 21-16 at that point. But St. Cloud tacked on a field goal with 10 minutes to go to knock off USF at home, 30-27. to Up in Aberdeen, Augustana outscored Northern State 21-0 in the fourth quarter for the 42-21 win over the Wolves as the Vikings remain perfect on the road this season. Augie quarterback Kyle Sadler threw for 460 yards and five scores, while Nickel Myers hauled in 12 catches for 218 yards and two TDs in the victory. The Stampede hosted Fargo in their home opener Saturday night. Heard get the scoring started early off a turnover. Samuel Stevens is denied, but Ryan Sullivan bangs home the rebound to put Sioux Falls up 1-0 just two minutes into the game. Later, Stampede on the attack again. Matt Cameron shows off the hands as he walks the defenseman, tries to get it back to his forehand, but the netminder gets a pad on it. Score remains 1-0. Then Fargo comes into the zone on the rush. Bartek Bison grabs the loose puck, comes around the net. His pass finds Connor Mayer wide open on the back door for the tying goal. 1-1 one, one after one. This one will go to a shootout with the Stampede scoring the lone goal for the 4-3 victory over Fargo.